back to lock and reload. So I'm bringing you another Ruger 1022 magazine. As you see in some of the footage, we went out and shot the new Ruger BX25 25 round magazine made by Ruger. My initial impressions of this particular magazine were high. Um, I had very much high hopes of this magazine, but I was a little disappointed. But that being said, we'll go into uh, some of the uh, things that I do like about it, the pros to this magazine. First off, it is a factory made, factory made Ruger 10 22 magazine. Ruger spent a lot of time uh, making this magazine ever since Bill Ruger died. That's why they came out with the BX25. They use a, a, a durable, um, high impact polymer as far as the actual magazine casing housing. This magazine is also self lubricating. Did I mention it holds 25 rounds? It does have the steel feed lips uh, on it as well. Essentially, this is a 25 round version of the 10 round magazine. It's built on the same principle as the 10 round factory magazine that you get from Ruger with your 1022. You can go ahead and disassemble this magazine for ease of cleaning, which I do like. Did I mention it holds 25 rounds? Steel feed lips, like I stated, and then your um, your locking lugs or whatever you want to call it that actually lock up into the actual magazine, they're pretty solid. The fit and finish of this magazine is great. I absolutely love this magazine when it comes to that. We were having some malfunctions with it, as you saw in the footage. We went ahead and shot various different amounts of ammunition. We shot different ammunition and we got the same results. I was operating my 1022 as a bolt action. I wasn't very pleased about that. Now I was going through some of the reviews. And this is why I never really pay attention to other people's reviews other than to see what their opinion is on it. Because that's what this review is. My opinion, my data points. And what I like and what I dislike about it. Like I stated, I was operating my 1022 as a bolt action, which defeats the purpose of a semi-automatic. I was told from a couple different sources, after about two to 300 rounds of ammunition, this magazine should go ahead and even out and start functioning flawlessly. I have one qualm with that. A magazine that you go and spend $30 on should be working right out of the box. So that being said, that's my thought. Um, You're not the most expensive, but you do pay a chunk of change for this particular magazine. And for the money that, uh, this is my, this is a T&E magazine. This one is on loan from my buddy Corey. So him and I have been shooting it. And that's why I've been apprehensive of buying one. I have bought one because this one ran so poorly. That being said, I mean, there's really not a whole lot to state about the magazine. These are my data points. Um, I'll go through some of the features again. Again, this is the Ruger BX25 25 round magazine. Steel, uh, steel locking lugs for the magazine lock up into the gun. Steel feed lips. Same design as the 10 round magazine, only in a 25 round magazine. Self lubricating high density polymer. Easy takedown for ease of cleaning. So again, the Ruger BX25. My thoughts, if you have any questions or concerns, we'll leave them at the bottom. Please rate, subscribe, do what you gotta do. This is the Lock and Reload. As always, catch you later. I've got Napoleon complex I don't know why but I think she's right